No, just go for it. that's boo boo. Little little boo boo stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Ah. <laughs> I'm surviving, baby. I can't with you yet. Hey guys, I'm Brad Leone, and today on Taste Buds, we're trying six different fishes with my guest, Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank oh you for coming. This is, uh, I'm really excited about this episode. A, I'm a big fan of your work. What? And then also uh, the topic. We're doing fish. Like fish is one of my passions as far as in the, in the culinary space and just, I guess, just in life in general. I'm just a big, big fish guy. Well, I'm very lucky to be doing this with you then. That means I'm going to get some very good tips on fish. Hopefully I can give you some good tips because, you know, I watched uh, one of your movies. It was called Pimp. The oh, other day. what? Yep, what? and I was like, listen, if I don't give her at least some type of useful tool, or useful information on how to cut fish or prepare fish, I'm, I'm, she's going to tim my head up or something. <laughs> I, we just jump into the first one? Yes, I'm so excited, yes. Cool. Number one, salmon roe. Fish eggs served with creme fraiche and potato chips. I'm going to try it straight first. Oh, really? So now i got to try it straight. You I can't let to. you outdo <laughs> me with the trying. You don't have to. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's go there. Nope, no thanks. Oh, my God. Actually, flavor's not bad. It almost has like a little bit of a smokiness. I'm about to just put it on the chip and just try because I'm a soldier. Mmm! You can work with that a little better, right? This issue with it is definitely the popping. I don't mind the texture of the actual... It's the bursting of the it's ball. It's the bursting that's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, stop this. And then it's also what's in the taste of the bursting. It's a little too earthy. Mm. It's giving me a little too under the sea. I need it to be a little <laughs> bit more rounded out. <laughs> The texture, not the flavor necessarily, but uh, yeah. Plow one forward. Let's move on to the next. Enough of the fish eggs. Yes. All right, for our next one, Kiki, we got some wild tin sardines. Tin fish fan? Yeah, I mean, I've gr I grew up on sardines. Oh, you did? Okay. I'm like totally into them. Number two, sardines, tin, whole fish served with toast. Okay, so this is a very thick sardine. Yeah, yeah, we ain't talking. This is not a baby sardine. I'm gonna hold when it things right get on. too thick, oh, it's just too thick. Well, see what you're gonna do here. What I like to do, and you can use your knife. Oh, you for your crack hand. it open. I open it, remove the little little boo boo uh, insides. Uh -uh! Oh, you, you, you keep that. No, you just go for it. that's boo boo. Little little boo boo stuff. Oh. Uh! <laughs> so you speak boo boo. Oh. Uh! <laughs> well, I just like to scrape that. You don't have to. A lot of folks I are want cringing. To. Oh, you want to. That's disgusting. I didn't know they had little boo-boo. No, no. Oh, did I say boo-boo? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> boo-boo. Just a little boo-boo. Oh, my gosh. So what that's you what just... I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, that looks beautiful and clean. <laughs> the old Philly flip there, and then you're set. Careful. I mean, it's a, it's a classic. The texture is nice and sturdy, but it's not dry. Very oily, full of nutrients. There's a reason why... Everything in the ocean wants to eat them. I couldn't agree with you more. It's absolutely delicious once you get past all the boo-boo. Should we move on to the next one? Yes, we should. Number three, brook trout, smoked full fish, served with crackers. One of my all-time favorite fish. What is this? It's a trout, freshwater fish, all right? Lives in only the pristine cold water, well, highly oxygenated, oxygenated streams. <laughs> I can't speak. Don't be intimidated by its mug, it's cute. Cute enough to kiss, huh? This is what we're going to eat, and it's cold. It's not oh, even it's the hot. best cold. I won't even eat these hot. What? I, I do this. I smoke these myself at home. You and... really are an East Coaster. You need to just calm down. <laughs> you want to eat this cold? I don't eat. They're not as good warm. It needs really? to, like, set up and cool, and, like, things need to reconstitute, and the fats need to, like, re-solidify. The skin comes right off. And leaving you inside this like beautiful, rendered, smoky, salty, flavorful meat that you can just kind of peel these loins out of. What do you think? Salty, Very easy. Good. You never go wrong with some salt, baby. I love yeah. something salty. You know, I, I think a lot of people kind of sleep on it. Was there something that stood out to you? I definitely think people sleep on it because yeah. this was tasty. Mm -hmm. I don't really like cold foods, but this is it's quite tasty. Yeah, this is see. like a snack. Like yeah. A small, like a meat and cheese kind of thing. Ooh, a charcuterie board. Well, yeah, boom. You throw that bad boy on there, too, and it's like, whoa. It's like, oh, she's sophisticated. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. So we have a little piece of... A little loin of yellowtail. Number four, yellowtail amberjack. Raw loin sliced and served over rice with shoyu, wasabi, and pickled ginger. You want to get like a nice little, depending on the size of meat you want to get or something. 
It's working nice, right? I'm getting to it. I'm at this point. They want me at Katsuya. I can't wait to show you this. Hold on, hold on. It's a little piece of art, Kiki. I really killed the game. You have no idea. Look at that. Right? I've paid for worse. Look at mine. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. I went to school for you. You made that, Kiki. For this. Only be better if we caught the fish. said, I'm gonna put some fish with my rice. They were, folks. they were the genius That's that right. we need to thank. And I'm really getting into the look of it all. It's like beautiful. I'm really getting into that it's beautiful. It is. I'm really feeling so like I am a real cook. Yes, hello. I'm, and then you in the back making those noises. Mm. Mm. Why do people do that all the time with food? Mm. Oh. That's right. I don't know. I think it's just like a primal like satisfaction, you know? It's like, oh, I'm gonna live another day. <laughs> I'm surviving, baby. Right? I can with you, yes. And I also think some people, maybe like me and you, are dramatic. No. Yes. It's called passion, Kiki. <laughs> Everyone's favorite is a ceviche. You know, you can go anywhere in the world almost and like someone's making a ceviche, right? Yeah. Number five, fluke ceviche. Filet served with corn tortilla chips. Try it before you, before you mix stuff into it. Try it before yeah, you Yeah, that's a little taste. Oh, it is good. Very nice texture. Yeah, right? Yeah. But is you that what it sound like? That, you're like, yeah. Oh, no, I gotta work on that. No, it's so funny. Oh, okay. It doesn't have that raw kind mm -hmm. of like toothiness to it, right? Why does it taste so good like it's that? that? It's that It's that acid, Oof. right? We love it. Hot day. All right, close your eyes. You're on the beach. I don't know if you drink, but maybe you got a little, a little margarita or a little Corona or whatever you're into. Someone walks by and they offer you this. There's a, some fresh corn chips, a little ceviche. You're on the beach. The waves are breaking. That's where I went, right? I went there. I was there. doing it. Yes. Yeah. That's the vibe. You really know how to set the scene, you sir. You gotta. Very fresh. I can't beat it. You know, it'd almost be good, like, as the filling of, like, a, if you made, like, a ceviche, like, hard taco. It would be really delicious, especially if we had that others that show, what did you call it? We'll show you. The little show you. And the little togarashi. Ooh, and the little togarashi in the shell of the taco. Oh, we're just oh traveling gosh. the world. Are we going to make a thing. restaurant? Do you have any nicknames? I don't have one. I was trying to think of what we could call this. Yeah, restaurant. yeah, yeah. BK. B BK. I mean, they, I know they already named a city that in New so York, what? but we could be BK. I like it. Approved. BK, BK around the world. B and K, ceviche tacos. Woo! Line out the door, baby. We got a truck. <laughs> we got two. Number six, red snapper, pan seared, filet served with lemon wedge. Try to place it slowly and away from you. And then as it starts, to, <laughs> as it starts to cup, just just push it a little bit. And I like to rock the oil down. Yeah. Let the oil kind of run underneath it. Oh yeah, mine's just sizzling. That's though. nice, right? The biggest tip with uh, with fish is. Don't force it to flip. It will release from the pan when it's ready. Oh, if I love you gotta that. go scraping it, 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 walk away. Mine's releasing, but I don't think it's quite ready yet. Good sign. You can flip if you wanna just go on the edge and see what it's doing. Well, I don't wanna peek if yours wasn't ready. I peeked. Okay. Just a little gentle. Does it wanna release? No, okay, mine's ain't go. ready. Oh, hold on, stop. You see that, Kiki? <gasps> release. I didn't do it. Mine's hasn't just it yet. It just does it on its own, it speaks to you. I'm gonna do a gentle flip. I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Don't be. Really crispy on that back side. Crispy, it could use a little bit more in that one spot. Mine's is almost done. I could see it getting ready that looks to good. do. There we go, that ain't looking bad. That's looking good. Just flip Just it. Just go with it, full confidence. Okay. Boom, it's the best one. You think it's good? It's crispier than mine, Kiki. I tried to get it, Kiki, <laughs> Kiki, I love it. <laughs> Look at you! People paying big money for that over in restaurants. I, I gotta get me, I gotta do like a little cookie thing, cause you got, yeah! I yeah. gotta get, I gotta get me something like, all right! That's right, well. That's kind of good for cooking. That's pretty good. Well, and you gonna do like that, and, all right! I gotta do something. Yeah, I mean, there's room for improvement, but. I know, it's not good enough. It's, it's not fun. like, yeah! Yeah! That one's really good. It took good. decades. I love the yeah, man. <laughs> I love the yeah. It's oh, nice. yeah. Hit it with a little salt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little pepper, now's your, now's your time. Now it's my turn. I, I know I really went heavy with it, but That's I just right. wanted I like to pepper. try to give it a life. 
Woo! That's beautiful. Simple, easy, right? It's gorgeous. How easy was that? This could be my dinner every night. Easy, right? I mean, like, what the heck? Could oh, that be the catchphrase? Right. What the heck? That it's was working. bad, too. I'd watch it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ah! One spot here, I got a little sog patch. All right? That's fine. I could have waited another minute. I've noticed minute. this whole time that you were just too critical for words. You always criticizing yourself. This is good. Let me tell you yours. Let's switch. Are we allowed to do that? No. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> Literally the worst. It's so sad. It's hard. Because then know, I can let you know how good I know yours is good. Yours is probably better. Stop it. I'll probably but better. you know what? Like this whole thing was about the skin and all I like, cared about was the inside. Because we just wanted to make sure that we were up to par. The skin's nice, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure you cook the fish right. The fish better be on point. It better be. Or what are we doing here? Well, what are we doing? Make potato chips? It's just holding the fat. Because it, we fried it too low. I think. One of my favorite things is a crispy branzino. Full. Yeah, it's good. Filet. It's delicious. You do it delicious. on the grill? I don't cook it. I go to the restaurant. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. God bless them. You know, we should be, we got to be grateful for this meat. Well, whether you it. eat meat, whether you don't eat meat, you got to be kind to, um, the fact that we're, we're, you know, these fish are, are feeding us. 100%. It's respecting the whole process, you know, and how fragile that system really is and how much of a responsibility us, you, all of us have to help maintain that and take care of it. You yeah, know? so I Otherwise, we that. ain't searing nothing. Exactly, and I appreciate the respect you had to that. That was definitely a, a highlight of today. That's the glue that brings us all together. Oh, bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know some folks, I'll act. I can't remember lines for but I can talk. And you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah.